now let's continue with the primitive data types the primitive data types just now we discuss uh, what is identifier followed by the terms of concern variables and list of words now this is the last part of data types and operators okay so primitive data types there are four primitive data types yeah we will discuss actually ada uh, more than four okay but this is what we have in our syllabus and we have used these data types we have talked about these data types uh, in the previous uh, slide when we are discussing on how to declare variables and how to declare a constant value Okay, kita dah bincang dah ni. Kita ada cakap dah, kita ada sebut dah about data types. Dan ada, uh, saya dah explain sedikit about the data types. So, there are four primitive data types that we are going to discuss. Which is, int for integer data type, double, for any double floating point value, boolean, true or false value, and char. Okay, int double boolean and char there are four primitive data types int double boolean and char all right now let's go through one by one int int stand for int integer now it is used to declare variables that will store integer numbers only integer number whether it's negative integer or positive integer as long as there is no floating point value. Tidak ada titik perpuluhan. Bukan decimal value. Okay, only to store integer value. Whole number, eh, tidak ada titik perpuluhan. So, such as 7, negative 11, 0, uh, 31,914. Itu adalah in integer. Now, the range of data ini tak perlu ingat ya. Ini tak perlu ingat range of data ini. Tak perlu ingat. Tak ada siapa yang ingat. Saya pun tak akan ingat. Alright. So, this is the range data. Now, example. Okay. If you want to declare an integer data type for a variable. Ini apa ni? Ini apa ni kelas? So, apa tu? Hmm? Apa tu? Kalau kami ingat lagi, apa tu? Maksud dia int h ni apa ini data type ini apa ini adalah identifier variable name right so the whole statement we have the combination of data type Data type, ya, yeah, dengan variable name. Okay, variable name. So, ini adalah, apa, statement ini panggil apa? Variable declaration. Okay, variable declaration. So, you declare variable H. To store an integer data type. Integer data type. Okay. So what happens when we declare H as uh, with that we store integer data type? What happens? Means that H can only accept or store integer value or integer number. So kalau saya dah declare int H. Int H, so maksudnya, saya boleh kata H can be 7. H can be 7. So, I just assign 7 to H. Is it okay? Very. But, if I put H, kalau saya kata H is equal to 7.2. Is it okay? Is it valid? Adakah valid? Salah. Right, because you declare that H is integer, you declare H as integer, and the value ini mestilah an in integer. If you declare H 
in as integer the value is 7.2 is a floating point so it is incorrect assignment okay it's an incorrect assignment so ini adalah declare ini adalah assignment statement okay double double is used to declare variables that will store larger decimal number ataupun floating point value such as 3.4 0 0.01 negative 11.9 okay so double is uh, used to uh, to display or to store floating points kan how many floating points so uh, untuk double dia boleh simpan hingga 15 significant digit lebih 15 significant digit Okay, it's double, double significant digits then kalau compared to float because floating points value, floating points value ada dua jenis. Okay, double or float. But our focus is more on double. Float and double both are going to store floating points. But why we are focusing on double? Because double can store more significant digits. So it's more precious, the precious, um, lebih accurate in terms of the value. Okay, they simpan lebih banyak. Double sebenarnya lebih dua kali ganda daripada value yang disimpan oleh float. Okay, so example of declaration, double, tax rate, double, average. So this is declaration. You declare that tax rate is a variable that will store double data type. Average is a variable that will store double data type. So ni adalah declaration variable declaration statement. Now bila you nak assign assignment you assign kind assignment statement nak stand for variable ni you nak assign kind eh ni nak bagi so you kena kata tax rate equal with what is the value it of course is double kalau double mestilah ada titik perluan 3.22 okay tax rate equal to 3.2 Ini mestilah float ting point value. Mestilah in the type of floating point. So this is how you assign the value. So because they double, tax rate equal to 3.22 uh, value. Now, ini ada assignment. So ini the first variable declaration. Two is assignment statement. How about if we compare, we combine both statement. Combine the variable and the assignment statement. So when you have the combination of declaration assignment statement, dia akan jadi seperti ini. Double text red equal to 3.22. So you have your first part ni. Declare, ini adalah assign. Okay, you declare and you assign the variable named text red, which store double data type and the value is 3.22. Now, boolean, a boolean value represents a true or false condition. Dia senang kata uh, logical operation. Logical operation. Any logical operation akan dapat boolean value. Boolean value ya. Yeah? So true or false. Ingat lagi logic get. True or false right. So a boolean can also be used to represent any two states such as like bar on off. Yes or no. But the computer output hanya akan keluar true or false. Dia tak akan keluar lah like yes or no for your output kan. Yeah? Kalau dia dah positive dia hanya keluar true or false. The reserve word true and false are the only valid values for boolean type. So, ini sahaja value untuk 
boolean. Tidak mungkin satu, tidak boleh kosong, tidak uh, tidak mungkin um, integer, tidak mungkin 14 points. Dia hanya akan keluar, dia akan proses true and false only. True and false value only. Okay, for example. Okay, used to declare variable that will store, sorry. Okay, for example. Boolean. Uh, stat boolean mail boolean mail boolean mail is you declare variable mail which store a boolean data type we only yang akan store you, that will store a boolean data type so ini declare you declare okay you de declare then you assign the value assignment statement dia boleh jadi mail equal to true mail equal to true so ini adalah a assignment you assignkan value true kepada mail variable so kita kombankan dia jadi boolean mail equal to true ok so this is what we call variable Declare, patient and assignment. Okay, variable declaration and assignment statement. You declare a variable name mail, which will store boolean value, and the value is true. Now, char. Char data type is used to declare variables that will store alphanumeric data, such as a uppercase, a lowercase, single digit or single um, special character. So, char variable may hold only one character. Hanya boleh simpan satu character sahaja. Sama ada lowercase or uppercase letter, single digit or a single special character. For example, char grade or char gender. Okay, char grade, char gender. So, Letter cha grade. This is declare declare variable name variable grade which store cha data type. Okay. But if you have char grade equal to A. Okay. Char grade equal to A. So this is this statement means declare variable grade which store char data type and the value is A. Okay, the value is A. So, please remember when you declare a char data type, char, mestilah, you must use this symbol. Okay, single quote, single quotation mark. Mesti inside the uh, dalam tu okay, dalam single quotation mark so this is the summary uh, the difference between integer double float character uh, char and boolean so saya letakkan uh, how you write yang dalam kurungan itu ada the name the exactly how you keywords reserve word yang kita guna int double float char and boolean even though kita tak belajar tentang float I want you to know the difference between float and double so the size of integer maximum size that in, in data type can store is 32 bits which equivalent with 4 4 bytes of data. Okay? And this is the range you don't have to memorize this one. A double the double precision 64 bit okay compared to float 32 bit. 
which represent 8 bytes compared to 4 bytes of load data data type. Uh, double is used to store floating point values with high precision because they symbolic simpan 15 significant decimal digit. Whereas float used also to store floating point. Both floating point. Uh, but the precision is 6 to 7 decimal digit. That's why kita kata dia low in accuracy. Uh, char, the size of storage yeah, adalah 30, 32, 16 bits only. Uh, equivalent to 2 bytes to store data. Okay, used to store a single character such as A, B, 1, 2, 3, but must be inside the single quotation. Now, boolean size of 1 bit, 1 bit to store data and used to store true or false values to store dua saja value dia, sama ada true atau false. Okay, true or false. 